As the government strives to develop the country, it has also developed a dubious track record of failing to successfully implement large projects. The projects are also accumulating pending bills, increasing completion costs and could expose Kenya to legal compensation claims by slighted contractors if cancelled. The value of stalled projects is equivalent to the size of Kenya's entire economy, reflecting the magnitude of the incomplete and abandoned infrastructure upgrades. The World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF, have called for the cancellation of a majority of incomplete infrastructure projects. Here are five mega-projects in Kenya that failed. Know About Channel provides you with informative and unique information on important topics and things surrounding our lives. Please subscribe, like and leave your comment below. Thank you for those who have subscribed. 1. The Pinnacle Tower. When completed, the skyscraper is expected to become the second tallest building in Africa after Egypt's iconic tower, and the third tallest building in the southern hemisphere, at 70 stories and over 1,000 feet, 300 meters, in height. The budgeted construction cost for the Pinnacle Towers is US$200 million. United States dollars. Of that, the developers contributed US$50 million United States dollars and the balance was borrowed, from a Frexham Bank and Kenyan banks. Commissioning of the building was expected in 2020. The development is a joint venture by Haas Petroleum and East African Petroleum Products Distributor and the White Lotus Group, a Dubai-based investment firm. A dispute has arisen over ownership of part of the land being used for construction. The High Court issued arrest warrants for the directors of White Lotus Projects, Pusipati Ramachandra Raju Sita and Muhammad Mahat Noor. The dispute began when legal action was taken against Haas Petroleum by Ugandan tycoon James Mugwe and a trust formed by former United Arab Emirates leader Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan. 2. Palm Exotica. Standing at 370 meters compared to Pinnacle Tower's 300 meters, the upcoming skyscraper dubbed Palm Exotica will, therefore, stand out more than Upper Hill's 70 storied Pinnacle Tower, which is still under construction. The 61-storied Palm Exotica will be developed by New York and South Africa investors and Italian billionaire Franco Rosco. The country's National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, has put the entire project on hold, claiming the project violates several of its clauses therefore construction cannot go on. NEMA Acting Director General confirmed the report and said the project is not in conformity with the existing planning framework zoning plans, and physical planning laws and regulations, survey regulations and coast foreshore reservations and stability. The authority thus ordered the investors to either redesign the project to conform with existing planning framework or seek an alternative. 3. Lake Turkana Fish Processing Plant, Kenya Donor, Norwegian Government. Cost. $22 million The project was designed in 1971 to provide jobs to the Turkana people through fishing and fish processing for export. However, the Turkana are nomads with no history of fishing or eating fish. The plant was completed and operated for a few days, but was quickly shut down. The cost to operate the freezers and the demand for clean water in the desert were too high. It remains a white elephant in Kenya's arid northwest. 4. Laptop, Tablet Project The laptop project to all pupils joining Class 1 was a promising one since the initial phase of the project kicked up and more than 18,000 tablets and laptops were distributed. The pupils were to be issued with laptops but that became too expensive and the government settled on learning tablets. The project was later cancelled due to various issues including logistics from the laptop providers. 5. Standard Gauge Railway Phase 3. The Standard Gauge Railway was a sort of success for the administration after the building of the first and second phases. The administration however failed to build the third phase of the project from Naivasha to Kisumu. Upgrade of the old railway line from connection Nakuru and Kisumu was however given preference over another phase of standard gauge railway. Kenyans are however not satisfied with the project as its full potential has not been unleashed. In Kisumu County, a planned Shish 400 billion ship that was to be built by a Canadian company, Continental Maritime, is still a pipe dream. The company signed a pact with the county government in October 2013, to build 22 ferries that would ply the various ports on Lake Victoria. To date, there is no progress. If you loved the video please subscribe, like and comment below. Remember. When the going gets tough remember the things that go right, the small victories and the reasons to be grateful. Always look to live to fight another day.